up YouTube? It's your boy Viewmaster617 and today I'm going to show a lot of you guys how to play the Mortal Kombat 4 arcade version on your PC. Now if you're a main gamer such as myself and um, I know this has been frustrating trying to find that working ROM for Mortal Kombat 4 but um, you can't seem to find a working one anywhere no matter what website you go or you know how many times you download one and you, you assume that it's going to work and it doesn't I know that can be a little bit frustrating so I have a little substitute in order for you guys to play the actual arcade version but it's actually for, for the PC but um now that's the good news about it now the only bad news there's a there's a, a slight flaw into it um the only flaw is that when you're playing the game there's no you won't hear none of the background music i mean i still have the authentic arcade graphic and it will have the fighting effects you know the sound effects but no game music and i think the only way for you to add the game music to it you have to have the original Mortal Kombat 4 CD which I don't have I've been looking for it so if any of you guys know where I can get that definitely um, inbox me that and I'll appreciate it um now what else oh yeah and um I'm gonna have links in the in the video description of the sites where you can actually download this because you know I don't want to broadcast it so you guys be sure to check the links out and um, it's always when, when you go to those sites it's always I believe the the first it's the first link so you know you type in Mortal Kombat 4 then they give you a bunch of options of which one you want to choose from I believe the ones I choose was the very first one so be sure to do that alright now once you do that it's going to come as a WinRAW file so it's going to be saved in your downloads folder okay so now, once you have it, you're going to extract it regularly, you know. And then once you extract it, it's going to look like this. It's going to say Mortal Kombat 4. Now what I did when I extracted, you can extract it to your desktop. Or I just extract here just to make it a little bit more easier. Because it's going to have its own folder anyway. So that's a plus. So you're just going to, you know, see it here, Mortal Kombat 4. So you're going to click on it. And it's another folder called Mortal Kombat 4 so you're going to click in that and here you have all these different files now you don't have to really worry about the setup only thing you have to do before see a lot of people get this confused in order to play this even if you press setup the Mortal Kombat 4 um, logo is going to cover up saying play install it's going to have these different options but you won't, you won't be able to install it because you have to register it first so you're going to click on this and then it's going to ask you, do you want to register it? And it's going to say, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to register it? Yeah, no. You're going to click yes. See, right here. Are you sure you want to add the information? You're going to click yes. And then it's going to say, the registration has been successfully entered into the registry. Now you can go ahead and click setup and, you know, start installing the game. And then once you do that, you know, you once you install it you know it's probably going to be in your C directory and your hard drive yeah this screen is going to come up so when you come when you guys first time doing it you're going to click install then it's going to install it then you're going to play the game so you're going to click play the game and then the game's going to load up all right Okay, as you see, the game does work. Now, you can hear certain game background music, but not when you're fighting. See, that's the only drawback. And it doesn't show the entrance of Raiden. You know how he has his little speech in the beginning? It doesn't show that. All it shows is a sample of the gameplay and the little screenshot of Quan Chi and, and um, Shinnok. That's it. But, I mean, the game's still pretty good. Um, you still have your options here. Now the only thing, now this is real important. Now you, you using a controller or a keyboard or whatever to play this game is not going to have the option to configure your controller 
right right up front. It's not gonna show it, but there is a um there is a controller option for it. But what you guys gonna have to do, you're gonna have to press F2 on your keyboard and a new option menu pops up. So it says keyboard, joystick, graphic, sound, gameplay, the whole nine. So I'm gonna set up my joysticks. So see here it is, you get to choose how you want to set them up. So this is how I'm gonna set up my controls. Alright, so now you have sound, and this is what I was saying, see the CD music, you need to have the CD in order to play the background music, because then it will automatically load into the game, and it will correspond with the game, so that way all the music and everything will be in sync. So like I said guys, if you, anybody that knows where I can get the CD, appreciate it. Alright, so you have gameplay, you know, I just keep everything default. And now I'm going to edge your options. So now I'm ready to start the game. But before I do, I'm going to show you guys for the, the cheats. Because there are also a cheat options on here too. So you guys going to go to practice. Okay, so once in practice, you're going to highlight the difficulty. And I want you to highlight difficulty. Now, this is easier than the 64 version. All you have to do is tap block and low kick. You don't even have to hold it. Just tap it. As you can see, you can hear the guy's sounds. So that means you know it works. So you get to choose your endings, fatality one, fatality two, and then like I said, to do the fatalities, um, you're gonna hit down and high punch, and it'll automatically do the fatalities. And you do the level fatalities, that means you won't be able to do your regular fatalities, because as soon as you're on the, a level fatality, it's automatically gonna do the stage fatality that the stage that you're on. So. Um, I just leave it off because I just like doing the regular fatalities anyway. But, you know, whatever preference you guys have, you get to choose it. So I'm going to start the game, let you know that the game does work. Everything runs fine. Oh, yeah, and then you got your. Now, with the hidden, to choose um, new sidebar, it's, it's a lot easier. All you do is go into hidden, then you're going to highlight either Shin up or Rico and then press run and that's it. The hidden character will be unlocked. So now as you can see, you see what I was saying about you can't hear the sound. That that's how it is. You just certain sounds won't be included because you need you actually need the C D in order to hear it. But I mean the game plays fine. It's pretty much the closest to the arcade. You know, it's, it's kind of similar to the 64 version, too. And like I said, that's the only other option, too. Either this or get the 64 version if you're used to the sound. But me, I'm just, I just like the gameplay. So, you know, it's no problem with me. But yeah, guys, if you like this video, um, subscribe to me. Um, I definitely have more videos coming up soon. Um... Now for my shout outs, I'm going to give my shout out to my boy, the Comfy Gamer Slouch, you know who you are, straight up reviews, um, I actually had an addition of subscribers, some new subscribers, the Computer Empire, he's also known as the Sith Lord of Gaming, big up to him, I Major Mac Man, you know, my new PC friend, and all you other subscribers, you know, I'm going to have a big list for you guys soon, I'm um, just trying to get everything up and running with more subscribers. Again, it's your boy, Viewmaster617, and I'm out.